In this video, we'll be looking into uh, designing a DFA from given NFA using the lazy evaluation method. So firstly, they have given the transition table of NFA here. So our first step is done. So our second step would be to design the transition table for DFA. So transition table for DFA, step two. So let's write DFA here, zero and one here. So in lazy evaluation method, what we do is first take the initial state that is write P as it is and the states of P on zero and P on Q as it is. So from here on, we have to take, so we have defined P, fine. we have to take PQ here. So PR, sorry, we have to take PR here. PR on zero, PR on zero, it's PR and PS. So it will be PR and S. So PR on one. PR on 1, Q and R. So now we have, PR is defined on both the states. Now we have Q. So Q on 0 is RS and Q on 1 is P. So Q is also defined. Now let's take PRS. PRS on 0 is P, Q, R and S. And PRS on 1 gives Q and R. PRS is defined. Now let's take QR. QR on 0 gives RS and PS that is PRS. And QR on QR on 1 gives PR. So we have defined QR also. Now let's take RS. So R and S on 0 gives PQRS. And RS on 1 gives R itself, that is R union 5, that is R itself. Next we have, so we have defined RS also. P is there, P was earlier defined. Then we have PQRS here, PQRS. So expanding PQRS on 0, we get PQRS itself. And PQRS on 1, we get PQ and R because there is 5 here. So PQRS is defined. QR, QR is already defined here. PRS, PRS is defined here. PR is there. PR is PR is defined here. Then PQRS, PQRS is defined. R, R is not defined. So let's write R here. So R on 0 gives PS. And R on 1 gives R itself. So R is defined. PQRS is defined. PQR is not defined. So let's write PQ, R here. PQR on 0, PQR on 0, we get PR, RS and PS. That is PRS. And here we get P, Q and R. So P, Q, R is defined now. We have, is there P, S here? No, P, S state is not defined. So let's write P, S here. P, S on 0 gives P, Q, R. And on this side P, S. P, S on 1 gives Q. So P, S is defined. Uh, is R defined? Yes, R is defined. Then we have P, R, S. P, R, S is defined. Yes, P, R, S is defined. P, Q, R is defined. Yes, P, Q, R is defined. And Q is also defined. So Let's mark the initial state here, that is P and final state, uh, those are R and S. So wherever there's R and S, let's put, let's put a star there. So PRS, QR, RS, PQRS, R, PQR and PS. So our next step is to draw the transition table, transition diagram, sorry. So there are two steps, either draw the transition table uh, diagram of this or rename this and draw a uh, simplified transition diagram. So let's rename it for our uh, simplification. So let's take all these as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and J. So DFA 0 and 1 here. So I'll write A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and J. So here I've taken P as Z, P R S B, Q as C, P R S S D, and uh, defined the uh, transition table again for easier representation. My next step is to draw the transition diagram for renamed DFA. So one more thing. So here let's put arrow at A, and on B we have to put a star D E F G H I J all stars. So let's draw the transition diagram here first on A, 
B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, N, J. So now let's draw the transition states. A on zero gives B. A on one gives C. B on zero gives D. B on one gives E. C on zero gives F. C on one gives A. So D on zero gives G. D on one gives E. F on zero gives G. F on one gives H. G on zero gives G itself, and G on one gives I. H on one H on zero gives J. H on one gives H itself. I on zero gives D, so D is there, and I on one gives I itself. J on zero gives I. And J on one gives C, so C is here. How do we show C? Okay, fine. So yeah, we have uh, drawn the transition diagram for renamed DFA. Our next step would be to define the M values. So let's write it here. Step five is M DFA is equal to Q sigma transition function Q naught and F. So Q can be the two power q states sigma is 0 comma 1 as we know transition function is uh, all the transition states are being defined in step 2 here and q naught being the start state a and f being the final state wherever they star all those come under f so i hope you have understood how to solve this question if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you